Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, speak to us this morning. Give us the grace to live our lives in according to your will. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Today, the topic for today's devotion is run to win the race. Run to win the race. And our test is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 9 from verses 19 to 27. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law of Christ, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, by once received the prize, so run that you may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mystery is temperate in all things. Now do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. I therefore so run not as uncertainly, so fight I not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a cast away. And again today, we are looking at the topic, run to win the race. The item to win in a Christian race is salvation, which leads to its eternal life. A race is a contest between two people, animals, vehicles, where the goal is to be the first to reach some objective. The objective is the prize. The race is a progressive movement which involves the life we live on a daily basis towards a goal. In our test for today's meditation, Paul claimed to be running a race with the aim of receiving or winning to receive a prize. As Christians, we are running a race towards heaven. So to obtain an imperishable reward, Paul compares the reward Christians are to receive to the trophy obtained by an athlete. An athlete runs to receive a perishable crown but Christians for an imperishable crown, which is heaven at last. Just as athletes who discipline himself or herself to receive a perishable crown, Christians, according to Paul, must discipline themselves to receive a crown that will last forever. The discipline here means taking a decision to live a life that will always bring glory to God. Winning a race requires discipline and purpose. The essential discipline required to win a race involves, number one, prayer life. Number two, Bible study and worship. All these equip us to run with vigor and stamina. To win the spiritual race, you must diligently train. The training here involves fellowship being part of the service. And then, the Bible said that do not neglect the gathering of the brethren. And then, we require all these things for our spiritual progress. We must give up everything that can cause distractions as we run our race, no matter how good that particular thing may be. 
in order to finish well and to receive a prize. Beloved, what are those habits that are causing distractions as we are running this race? Can it be desires of the flesh? Can it be desires for earthly wealth? As Christians, we ought to be focused in order for us to win this race at the end. And I pray that all our services in God's kingdom as Christians will not be in vain. And my prayer is for every believer is that we will not go to hell on the last day. By the grace of God, we will make it in heaven. If you desire to win this prize, you need to surrender all to Jesus. You need to give your life to Christ. When you surrender all to Jesus, he will take over your life. And when he takes over your life, he will perfect all that consigns you. I pray, as you take a decision today to walk with Jesus, as you take a decision today to live a life that will bring glory to God, as you take a decision today to obey Jesus in all situations, as you take a decision today to run this race without distractions, I pray that God will give you the grace required for you to run to the end. And I pray that at the end of everything, God's name will be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have declared. If you desire to run to win a prize, please, I invite you to say this prayer with me. Lord, help me to run this race in your strength and give me the grace to finish well. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of the Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.